Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alright, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we had just gotten a lot of missions from a lot of people. Uh, one of them being, uh, well, <laughs> one of them being, need to get the serum out from the Undercity from Sith Patrols, which we'll find out when and how we'll be able to do that. And also you know, find out about bounties on people's heads that shouldn't be on their heads because people are assholes. Oh, we can head into these apartments. North apartments, okay. Start stealing stuff out of other people's fucking <laughs> apartments. Why not? I've already done it with the south apartments. Might as well go to the north ones and do it. Ta. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it's locked, you say. Huh? It's locked. locked. Well, how about now? What? There we go. Hi there. Don't, don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. All right, sure. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do, because I've already done it before. Yeesh. You ain't supposed to be here. This ain't your home. Yeah. Well, I remember when a person didn't have to worry about thieves rummaging through their home. Right. Well, uh, you ain't calling anyone on me for it, so I mean. And on you. Alright. This was open. Hmm, weird. Don't know why this was open. I'm gonna take this though. Well there, child. I seen them at the races sometimes. They go fast and make lots of noise. Well, yeah, that's kinda how racers go. Well, hi there. There's nothing to see here. Where did you Is hide there? Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. Oh, please, I'm only a visitor to Terrace, trapped here by your quarantine. I know nothing about the Teresian underground or your missing Sith uniforms. Uh, uniforms? What are they talking about? You're a little too curious for your own good, civilian. This doesn't concern you. Yes, it does. All about Sith interrogations. This isn't going to end well. I'm getting Fair sick enough. of your lies, you alien scum. Okay, he's already going racist. I'm a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. Whoa. I think the commander's losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the blood stains from my uniform after the last interrogation. What the fuck? Maybe the alien really doesn't know anything. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. I won't let you kill a defenseless prisoner. What was that? Did I hear you right? Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Yeah, about that. Uh, let's kill you. Hey, I got light side points. Good for me. I'm a good poison. Okay, that didn't work out. Okay, um... <laughs> well, this is... Going south. There we go. I needed that. Karth did most of the legwork there. I'll admit, Karth did most of the legwork. I was kind of worthless. But, we did a good thing. Ooh, Sith armor. Alright. I don't know what that was for. That pop. Um, is there a mission that I completed accidentally, or was that just experience? I think that was just experience. Anyway, let's check this out. This new thing that I have called Sith Armor. Ah! This full body armor could be used to fool people into thinking the wearer was one of the Sith. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! There's a Sith Trooper in there. <laughs> I hadn't gotten to yet. Well, let's make up for my, uh, Short falls earlier. And he's down. Thank you, human. The Sith would have killed me. Of that I am certain. I don't know who you are, but it is clear you are no friend of the Sith. You're damn right. Among my people there is a saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's a lot of people, actually. Like you, I hate the Sith. That is why I stole those Sith uniforms for the Hidden Vex. Ah, uh, the Hidden Vex, who are they? In the Lower City, there are some who do not bow to the Conquerors. 
Swoop gangs like the Hidden Vex are gathering resources to one day strike against the Sith oppressors. If you would wish to strike another blow against the Sith, the uh, Sith, you would be wise to journey to the lower city and speak to Gaden Thek, the leader of the Hidden Vex. Alrighty. How about a reward for saving you? Ah, I'd be a little asshole-ish. Uh, what are they planning? You would have to ask Gaden Thek to know the answer to that question. They approached me, and my only role was to obtain the Sith uniforms for them. Uh... Can you take me to him? Access to the lower city is restricted. I have never actually met Gaden. My only dealings were with members of his hidden Beck gang. Alright, uh... Can I get one of those uniforms from you? I'm sorry, but all the uniforms I had were given to the Hidden Backs. I suppose you could take the uniforms from the body of the Sith soldiers in this room if you wanted. Well, I did get that one from the captain. That's an idea. Uh, how about a reward for saving you? That seems assholeish. I should be going now. As should I. The Sith know my face now. I must find somewhere to hide on this world. Thank you once again, Hugo. You're welcome. Take their remains. Oh, decent. Decent amount of stuff. Hey, and a med pack. Making the one I used free. Alright. Let's just run around the place. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Okay. Alright, Karth. What do you want? Yes, what's on your mind? What was on your mind? Is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Is this yeah, you did. Necessary? Also. Uh, answer the damn questions already. <laughs> I mean, I would just like to know you better. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? It's excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though you're welcome to try. Maybe all right. First, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Okay. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. What do you mean? Um, I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And, and for what? On the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't mm. choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come yeah, that's fair. It. It's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? Uh, I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet from my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Was I? Um, what's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? Well, there's a lot of things odd about that. Uh, the next question kind of confirms it. Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested to transfer aboard happens to survive. That's fair. That's more than fair. I can understand that. Uh, logic <laughs> in that regard. Um, why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. That's Considering fair. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably That's fair. Wrong, and this is probably nothing. Mm. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and... I hate surprises. Can't really say I blame you. Surprises are a bitch. Surprises can be a real bitch. Uh, what do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. Okay. Are you always as suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll yeah. talk about it, but yeah, yeah. right now, I just want to get going. All right, Karth. We'll get going. We'll get going and get moving into other things. Like other apartments that are not 
technically mine. I'm taking things that are not technically mine. There we go. Hey, more med packs! Yay! The fact that most of these have been open when I come into them is a little weird. Gotta admit. Low security door. Ready. Hey there, bud. You're gonna need to pop this open right. with security. Open. Thank you. Well, hi there, Please. Largo. Please don't hurt me. What? You don't have to kill me. Uh? I'll have to Addict's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please. I don't want to die. Here. Huh? I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. What? What are you babbling you about? You mean you're not here to kill me? No. But uh, not intentionally. I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? Um, well, I wasn't here to kill you right now. Um, as far as I knew, you were just a normal guy. Uh, maybe he could help you with your problem. I don't think anyone can help me. Okay. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. What? I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Okay. Um, that's that's a thing I don't really understand. Why spend the money to kill the person if they're late on giving you money? You are now wasting money to prove a point that doesn't need to be proved because sometimes this shit just happens. I... Mm. I don't get it. I, I just... I never get that sort of thing. I mean... I got the credits. You can have it. You give 200 credits to a stranger just to help them out? Yeah. I don't believe it. Well, uh, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, that sure was generous of you. I just hope we don't end up needing those credits later Shut on. Shut up, Carl. Now I can pay off Davik. Oh, thank you. Killjoy. You saved my life. Oh, I better go give this to Davik right away. Yeah, you should. Go do that. Light side points. Yay. Also, lost credits. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have 122 left. Oh, no. Well, hopefully... Ah, five. I'm halfway there. <laughs> to making it back. Oh, uh, jeez. Okay, Karth, you're in my way. Karth, you fucking... Okay. Oh! He went out the door and disappeared. He was a ghost. Okay. I gave my money to a ghost. <sighs> Makes for a more cinematic game experience. Yeah, about that. Nothing really cinema about this. Huh. That was weird. Let's head over here and see what's going on this way. Drunk what man. What is this planet coming to, huh? Yep. Shlummy's just walking around the upper city. Shlummy. Is that the Lars says who belongs, Shlummy? Oh, this is rich. Oh, yeah, is great. like he said, these streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me buy you a drink. How about now? Uh, you better think twice about what you're doing. This might be more than you can handle. Uh, come on, fellas. This Shlummy ain't worth the bother. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, Slummy. Come on, fellas, let's go. I have never been that drunk to sound like that. When I was drinking, I was never that drunk to sound like that. That just, that just goofy to me. That is goofy to me. Oh, what is this guy? What is this guy doing here? He's got Listen citizens around me, him. People. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Okay, are you talking about the Sith? I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. Or are you talking about the Rakul? Will you join my cause? 
We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Okay, what are you talking about? Are you referring to the Sith? I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens oh. of the world of Taris. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen to Oh, so this is just an old fashioned Ku Klux Klan, white mask wearing, stupid asshole, fucking racist motherfucker. Okay. Alright. Alien leak. Oh, boy. I don't know which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Right. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. That's true. Can I just can I just stab him a little the bit? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. The enemy is here. We must act now before we are overrun with the vermin invaders. Uh, can I just stab him? Just a little, please. It's, it's like right in the gut a little. Just cha cha cha. Can't can I just do that a little? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, I want to. Hi there. A customer. Come in. Come in. Janice Null at your service. Welcome to my droid and droid supply shop. Always good to see a new face. Customers are hard to come by. A lot of the terrorist citizens won't even come in here. They refuse to shop at a store owned by a Twi'lek. Because they're racists. They're fucking amazing racists. <laughs> and amazing in how racist they are. And nothing else. Because wow, that is fucked up. What that guy was talking about. And then I walk into here. And she's like right across the street from that fucking crazy. Oh my god. Good thing she doesn't have windows in the shop, because it'd be, be busted out with bricks by that asshole. God. <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for you, girl. Jeez. What do they have against Twi'leks? They don't like aliens much here in Upper Terrace. They tolerate our, us Twi'leks, but they'd rather see us as dancers in the cantina than successful business owners. Yeah, that's that's right, because I see you as sex aliens, and that's it. I forgot about that. Stupidity and ignorance will never go out of style. Nope. You'll see a few aliens around, but most of the non humans stick to the lower city. I've learned not to dwell on it, though. I try to stay focused on running my store. My selection is a bit limited right now. The Sith confiscated all my assault droids. But I've got a utility droid you might find interesting. You had assault droids? Why would you have assault droids? I mean. I guess it's still a uh, good <laughs> considering some shops were selling weapons that makes sense that you would have assault droids um, probably sold as bodyguards if anything it's like defensive assault sort of thing but anyway what do they do? What don't they do? They're great at making vehicle repairs for starters. Pretty handy to have in a fight. Small but tough with a surprising amount of firepower. And there's no better code breaker or security system slicer around. Not that I'd ever condone you doing anything illegal, of course. Right. Uh, about that. You, you wouldn't mention that unless you were, you know, alluding to the fact that you can do it. Uh... I want to ask you some questions. I don't know if I can help you with your questions. I don't get out much. I prefer spending time with my droids and mingling with the terrorist citizens. Uh, to mingling with the terrorist citizens, rather. Uh, but I'll try to help you out. I, I couldn't read there for a second. <laughs> I haven't had enough coffee yet. Uh, do you anything... Do you anything... Broken brain! <laughs> Give me a second. I'm going to down some coffee and then come back to this. All right, let's try that again. Do you know anything about those escape pods that crashed here on Tars? People are saying a few of the pods crashed down in the Undercity. I blame it on human error. A droid wouldn't lose control of the ship like that. Anything else? You just love your robots, too, don't you? <laughs> All righty. All right, that's fair, I guess. Human error can fuck up a lot of things. Droids, however, currently aren't sophisticated enough to manage whatever it is you think they can manage. At least not in this 
current day and age in real life. Not yet. Not yet. Hopefully soon. Uh, because, fuck. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. I was wondering how you feel about the Sith. I don't think much of them since they came and seized most of my droids. I guess they were afraid of someone using my droids against them. Oh, I wonder why. Or maybe they wanted to use my droids for themselves. There's no such thing as a bad droid, but sometimes they fall in with bad owners. Like dogs! Yay! An illusion that I can get behind. Alright. Uh... General information on Taurus. Nah, I don't need anything else. Let me see what you've got for sale. You want to see my inventory, or are you here to buy a utility droid? My prices are very reasonable, and all my droids come with a money-back guarantee. You say that. You say that. Ah, uh, let's look into your utility droid. How about we look into that? That's, that's all basically the same thing she said earlier. Let me see your droids. I've only got two droids left. A rebuilt T3H8 unit for 50 credits, and a top-of-the-line T3M4 model with all the options, but he's not for sale. Uh, the rebuilt sounds too cheap for a robot. Uh, tell me about the T3M4 droid. T3M4 is the best utility droid ever built. Top-notch codebreaker, expert security, programming, and droid repair skills. He's even got the firepower to be handy in battle. This little guy is the absolute top of the line, but he's not for sale. It's a custom job I'm holding for a very special buyer. Sorry. All right. Okay. My inventory is a bit limited because of the quarantine, but if you need anything to do with droids or computers, this is still the place to shop. All right, let's look in. Uh, look into these. See what we can get. Uh, everything is expensive. <laughs> everything is fucking expensive as hell. Oh my... No, no. Well, that's a thing. Back again, I see. Well, I've never turned a potential customer away yet. You interested in seeing what I have in stock? Uh... Let's, let's look at your droids. Uh, let's take the T3H8 for the 50. She did say money back. You know a bargain when you see one. This little guy's as reliable as used droids get. I did the reconditioning on him myself. Don't worry, he'll follow you everywhere. Is there anything else you need? Ah, uh, nah, no, I'm good. Maybe I'll see you around later. Don't forget my store motto if you need droid parts. Droid parts. Janice Nall. That I missed half of that. Alright, bud. Oh. Talk to you. Come on. There we go. Oh! Ooh! It's not a noise you want to be hearing. Alright, let's go out the door. Let's see where else we're supposed to go. Oh. Oh. Okay! Alright! Um. The fuck? It barely got out the door. The fuck, Janice? Welcome back to my shop. Hey, where's that little T3H8 unit I sold you? A funny story about that, Janice. It blew up. I came to get my money back. It blew up? Huh, I thought I'd taken care of that little cross-wiring problem. Well, don't worry. I run an honest business here. I don't have to give you a refund, but I don't want to lose a customer. Here, have your 50 credits back. No hard feelings, right? Um... I want to have hard feelings, but you gave me the money back. Hmm. I think you should give me something extra for all your all the trouble. I've run into those customers before. I work this sort of thing. Um. <laughs> I don't think they understand. There is no legal reasoning to give refunds half the time um most companies just do it out of courtesy so that way you'll still come back and there are customers who believe no no i want more this is just 
legally required, and they think that in their heads, but that's not true. That's not true in the slightest. And I am so sick of that sort of customer. And luckily, most of those sort of customers are dying out because they're typically old and crotchety and really, really, really shitty people in general. So, I'm not going to be that person here. I'm a good guy. So, no hard feelings. Glad to hear it. I can't afford to make my customers unhappy. Business is tough enough as it is. So, anything else you need? Ah, I'm good for now. But, that was... That was something. I'll be going now. Alrighty. Got my credits back. For the droid exploding. <laughs> yeah, you didn't fix that cross-wiring problem too well. Just saying. Alright. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna plague your face with the sword in about a second. Shut the hell up. Oh! This, uh... Those are starfighters. This is... This is a base of some kind, isn't it? It's too big and too long and... Military base, yep. The security door is sealed and cannot be opened using normal security skills. Okay, well. That uh, proves my theory. Uh, nope, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go back to the hideout. When you use the return to function, you will be instantly transported back to your base and your entire party will be healed. This function is disabled in most action and combat areas. Yeah, let's do that. Because I can always come directly back to the spot I was just at. Journal entry. Okay. Hmm. I cannot do anything with that droid. Uh. Whoop. I accidentally hit the button for quest items. Um. Completed quests. Active quests. Oh! That's what it was. That was about the rapid transit system. Okay. Which I already know how to work. Okay, let's transit back. And there we go. And now Karth is healed. And we are good to go. Alrighty. Now let's take a look at our quests because uh, that whole thing with Janice kind of threw me off. <laughs> Just a little bit. Uh, purchasing a droid, we can't do that yet. Karth, we can't do that yet. Rack Ghoul, we can't do that yet. Dia's Bounty, we'd have to get down to where the bounty office is. The search for Bastila. Uh, Undercity, I'd need to get down there for that. Planetary information. Okay. So. I did all of that. And there's nothing else really telling me where I should be going. I'm assuming I should maybe talk to that one guy. Hmm. Or... It's a Sith soldier there. I wonder. Let's go over here. I wonder if I put on that Sith armor here. Wow, the dexterity this <laughs> the dexterity bonus on this is really high. Holy shit! The defense bonus is low. Another patrol heading down to the lower city. Eh? Well, good luck. I've heard it's pretty rough down there. There's a big swoop gang war going on, you know. You oh, is watch there? yourself. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Okay. Okay. That did it. Your Sith disguise has fooled the guard at the upper city elevator, giving you access to the lower city. Hopefully it will be just as easy to gain access to the undercity so you can search for the signs of Bastila's crashed escape pod. 
All right. Well, whoops. I didn't want to do that. There we go. Down we go. Wee. Alrighty. I should probably put on my good armor. Because this one has a higher defensive bonus. And more useful for me. Uh... You know what? We're also at the time limit. So I'm going to end the episode here for right now. I'm going to save this and we'll start up again in the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Getting through a lot of missions, having a droid explode on us after we bought it, but we at least got our money back. And, uh, yeah, explored another set of apartments and saved a guy from another bounty, because we seem to be running into a lot of people with bounties on their heads lately. For you!